Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name's Mon and this is... Hello Phoenix, hello. Hello, hello. and <laughs> today, <laughs> we're great at intros. Yep. Um, today we're going to have a little bit of a chat about Halo um, first steps towards progressing towards getting a motorbike license. Yes. So tell us, um, why, why do you want to get a motorbike license? Ah, uh, well, that's your fault. My fault. Yeah, so um, I've been riding pillion on your bike for a very long time. <laughs> and um, I currently ride, I own a uh, Corsa VXR. So I like my, nice. uh, my cars. So hopefully if I trade my car in for a Honda CP650R, yep. um, then yeah, it's more cost effective for me. Um, our circumstances change, which allows me to actually get a motorbike where I wouldn't have been able to before. That's very true. Cause I mean, with the whole COVID yeah. experience and that, we're now both working at home effectively full time. Yep. So we don't need two cars to get to work. Nope. So we can actually swap that around, have one car and a couple of bikes. And a couple of bikes and drive. And go out and enjoy ourselves on them. Yep. So it's sort of the reason for doing it. Yeah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So what's the first step that you're taking towards getting a bike license then? Theory test. Theory test. Theory test. So I've done my theory test. Um, I use the uh, DVSA website. Um, you actually bought me um, my account. You can actually, I don't know how you yeah, did that. Yeah, I, do, I, do, I, do, I, I can't that. remember what I actually did. We're going to have a look on the website in a minute and show, talk for it. So I just went online and Googled about it. I'd seen... In the past, when I did my bike test, I got lent uh, some DVDs. I got a CD. Uh, or when CDs, my, if anyone's, anyone's old enough yeah. to remember what they are. And a book, you know, the things yeah. with paper in that you fold over and read. <laughs> and I actually went through that and used the disc on my computer and it gave you loads of questions and things. But I was looking around online for it and found that you can actually buy the online version of this now. Yep. And you don't have to download any software. Nope. It's all done online. You log in log and in. do all your tests. I did it from every, any, everywhere and anywhere. Did it on my phone. Did it on the laptop, on the Mac. <clears> it, it's, you can access it everywhere. Everywhere and anywhere, which is really good. Um, yeah. They have really good options. So obviously if you can do your mock exam or your mock test, you can do it. And you can actually take it as if you're going to see it on your actual day of your um, theory test. Yeah. Which for my case really helped me um, because it's that familiarity. When you go into the test room, it's sort of familiar. You know what your questions are going to be laid out like. So I felt that really helped mm. when I was in there. Okay, so should we pop over to the computer then and show everyone what it's like on the screen yep. and going through some of the questions and yep. things? Sounds yeah, good. that sounds really good. Cool. Okay, so we're on the computer now and we're having a look at the... DVSA or the Driving Vehicle Standard Agency website yep. and this is where I bought you your uh, theory test. Yeah, so basically you bought hazard. my account. Yep. Exactly. Cool. So should we show them initially quickly where the shop is and yep. just to show them what it's like? So we're going to we're going to show you exactly what um, Mon went through um, when he bought this for me. So if you go to the DVSA website, uh, it's on the top. We'll yeah, also put safe, a link in the... Yeah, it says safedrivingforlife.info. So we'll put the link up. Yep, we will. So if you go to shop, and then obviously if you're a car driver or a motorcycle rider, click on motorcycle rider. And here is where you have the theory and hazard test, or if you just want to do hazard tests on its own. Um, it tells you obviously how much it is. Um, and if you click on the actual picture it actually tells you so you can have the account for 30 days and it won't cost you 15 pound uh 90 days 20 and 365 days wow um is 30 pound <laughs> yeah i think i bought you the 90, 90 day days. one yeah because yeah. it's like i think that's probably quite good sort of three months is like a, a nice time scale yeah to yeah. sort of do this over i think it also it didn't put pressure on me to do it within 30 days um and also um, with the current uh, way the world is at the moment with the coronavirus, um, obviously check dates. Um, I know from uh, quite a few social media um, posts that um, people are having to wait longer for theory tests. So obviously take that into consideration depending on what you're doing and your circumstances as well. Yeah, I mean, we're recording this at the uh, sort of middle of July 2021. Yeah, and, and I waited 
even though we're just about to come out of COVID restrictions, there was still quite a bit of a backlog. Yeah, I think I waited two and a half months for my theory test. It's yeah. been about two months. Yep. So that's worth looking for. So obviously you can buy directly for yourself or you can buy as a gift. Um, so you did buy it as a gift. And obviously here, the name of who it's for, the email address for the gift code, um, and then obviously from you. Um, or you can send it today, or we can send it on Not a Uncle Bob. Not Uncle Bob, no. <laughs> really? Um, or you can send on a particular date, um, you know, like a birthday. Oh, like a birthday, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a really good idea. And obviously a message, like, you need to do this within 90 days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying for another 90 days. No, I'm joking. Um, so, yeah, you can put your message there and add to the basket. Um, it will then put it in your basket up here, and then you just go through the payment method. Yeah, I think you just received an email, didn't you, to I say did. that someone bought it for you? Yes, yeah, so I had a code um, when I received the email. Um, and then obviously I put that through the DVSA website. There is a link on the email um, and it takes you straight through it. You set up your account and you're ready to go. Yeah, well, that's really cool. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're going to go into your account you are. and you're going to give us a bit of a talk because I've not seen any of this. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> Cool. So, uh, if you go to my learning in the top right, um, this gives you your hazard perception and also your theory test. So it tells you a bit of a an idea of if you're on track, if you should, if you're ready for your test, or if you're not, you need a bit more sort of um, practice. Um, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can start. Um, so you can start with your theory test, or there's no order. Um, obviously, within your test. Um, it will do your theory test first, and then obviously it will go to your hazard perception. Right, okay. Just keep that in mind um, when you're obviously going through this. So you can go through the start button. It gives you a bit of percentage um, if you're into that sort of thing. Now you've left this for even though you've I passed. Have. You said you noticed that you've left this for a while, and it's the numbers slowly crept down again. Yeah, it's probably so because of. How long ago you last did a, t a test on it, I guess? Yeah, probably. Um, so I did my test, what, it uh, must have been a month, month ago, two weeks ago? Two, three weeks, three weeks ago? ago? Yep. Yeah. Um, and that was up in the green, sort of green zone. Um, so yeah. Um, are you happy to go through? Yeah, do you yeah. want to do like a... a um, so what have we got? We've got a study practice. So that's all your study. Um, it goes through each... So if we go into it... It gives you all the topics, so um, what oh, they're going to cover, uh, which is really good. Um, it goes through a bit of a course, tells you a bit about the safety margins, how to awareness, um, vulnerable road users, which are all the questions that you're going to be asked. And then obviously you can do a practice test as well. If you scroll all the way down, you can do case studies. It's got right. so much information. It's brilliant. And any, I would recommend anyone going through absolutely every one of these yep. um, and doing the Obviously, practice so I questions. noticed there was one up there. Other vehicle, uh, other types of vehicle. Yeah. So that's only got like sixteen. So is, can we sort of just have a quick look at that? Yeah, of course. That, so does that go through a? You go through the study itself, so you can reopen the study, and then in the second area, you do a practice test. So you've got like 60, 17 questions in this one instance. Right. Okay. Um, so you go through the study, and then they'll go right quick fire questions basically. Um, so just give you an idea. Right. Let me reopen the study. Oh, ah, I one. see. Yeah. So, so does it like go through like a video to show you well, or goes, something? Cool? Yeah, it goes through. So there's videos and um, there's sort of just um, examples of different things that you need to look out for. Questions, obviously examples of vehicles in this instance. Okay. And you can go through the practice. So if we questions. tried your the one retry that you got wrong... Let's have a look, see which Hopefully one you got can... wrong at the time. Thank you. Okay. So, about so this is an example sort of question, how it yeah. might come up. Um, also, um, for other people, um, so there is, you can listen to the questions. Me personally, I actually preferred listening to someone talking through the questions um, and obviously part of the course study um, as well. But you can just read it. Um, it's good that it has that option as well for everyone. Right, okay. Um, so in this example, you're about to overtake a slow-moving motorcyclist. Which sign would you take special, special care? care. Um, I'm guessing it's probably the get the side wind. Yep. So that's that one. So you can check your answer. And yes, and it gives you a good 
little explanation of why you obviously that okay. should take special care. So is that, are these references to something? So also this is reference to I believe the highway book, um, highway code book. So is that is HC? If you move your mouse over them, do they say anything? You can click on it and it will open. So it oh, okay. takes, so you, it to takes you to website. takes you to the DVS uh, DVLA website. Yep. And actually shows you the rule number and the rule. Yep. Oh, that's really good. So it gives you information. So, and then you just end your practice. You can obviously review your answers um, when you have obviously a number of them, the 17 in this case, and then you just end your practice. Cool. And that's it. Okay, so if you've know, got an ice cream van going off <laughs> in the background, I don't know if people can hear that. <laughs> um, it's typical, isn't it? Yeah. It's a sunny day, that's what you get. So, yeah. So they're all your study and practices. Yep. So I did this first when obviously you bought me um, the account and bought me the theory tests and examples. Um, I went through all of it at the beginning, all the case studies, um, and then I went through my mock exams um, on yep. this, this account. Um, also, I left it a little while and then went back to it closer to my exam. Okay. Um, just for reference. Really. So what about the hazard perception? So hazard perception, if you want to go back to hazard perception and theory, you go back to my learning. So everything is here that you need. Um, and then again, just hit the start button and you're ready to go. Good thing again, it actually tells you how long you're subscribed for. Yeah. Um, so exactly the same here. Um, you can actually book your theory test here as well. Wow. Um, so study and practice. Gives you exactly the same, um, but for obviously has a perception. Okay. Uh, so you go through each study, and then you've got your thirty-nine um, correct multiple choice, and then your response clips as well. Okay. Is there one that you can show us as an example? So, for instance, so this is an example of what you actually see in the test center. Right. So I was going to say when you press click, say click, so that people will be on the video can hear when you've actually clicked. Okay. So they get an idea of what you think, what they, what you're doing, in relation to what they see on the screen. Okay, so click. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it just gives you a bit of an example. Obviously, don't click loads of times because it will just say you've clicked too many times and it won't be added to your um, marks at the end. So if you just click, so on, you score up to five points. You do for each developing hazard. Right. So it's a developing hazard. Um, there's many hazards that could be in the video. It's obviously just make being aware of the ones that could so, potentially cause So issues. what's the di I, I, I drive. So what's the difference between a, a, a static hazard and a developing hazard, if that's what you want to call so them? So a developing hazard, um, if you watch the clip before the actual, there is a clip on here which we will go through. Um, so obviously a hazard is anything like a pedestrian. It's one of those things. Right. Um, but obviously you're looking for a developing hazard. So something that will cause you to break, slow down, sort of go out of your normal course of routine. Um, so something where you're, you're looking out for. So rather than sort of like treating a zebra crossing as a static hazard, yep. if there's somebody now approaching the zebra crossing, about to step onto it, that's a developing? Developing, yeah, because you're then going right. to have to slow down okay. and stop potentially. So you're going to give us a demo, are you? Yep, so I'm going to play the clip here, click here. This is an example of what you see. It doesn't matter where you click within the picture. And obviously he's braking, so I'd say, yep. I only get a little flag pop up. Yep. And it will tell you, so this is a really busy street, so look out for people walking out. You've got a car, yep. You've got someone on the right. You've got someone crossing the road. Okay, so there's, there's one hazard that they want you to spot, but you're like picking off the hazards that are about to happen type yeah. thing. So there could be a number of things. You might think there's a hazard. I've probably done the same. I've got five out of five of that one. Oh, okay. Um, but obviously it will score you from five to one. It will show you, I'll also show you, obviously when we click next. Um, even if you think it's a hazard, they're not going to mark it against you. Obviously you can see there's three different you so there are three points there that you clicked, but yep. we don't know which one they were looking for. At this moment, no. So if you do review, does that now show you? There you go. So, it so was if that I pause one. it here, it's these two. So that one, where I clicked here, where he was breaking, 
it's breaking. It's one. It's just a hazard, a general hazard. Right. Okay. Um, so if you click coming to here, it's, oh, it's car. the car coming it's out. The of car the junction. on the left. Yep. So obviously, I clicked when he was halfway out. Yeah. Um. You can obviously go down to two, which is like here, and. But you were you actually responding to yeah. the person walking. Yeah. But the thing is, is that you got the five. Yes. Because you picked, even though you saw other things as potentially hazards. Yep. The one that they were looking for, you still was got. Was this one here? Yeah. Right. Okay. So there's loads of clips like this. Um, the CGI ones. There's. It, it really gives you a lot of information here as well. So, you can end the practice, and you've got all these to practice with. That's really interesting. Yep. So if you go, there's a little button here. If you click on that, go back to these and also um, doing your theory test as well. So I did I did all my theory first and then went to hazard because um, yeah. I, I knew obviously the exams sort of laid out like that, which is good. So yeah, okay. that is the DVSA website. Fantastic. Um, and obviously you can book your theory test here as well. <laughs> Yes, I mean, everything. that's quite good because this is, I think this is part of the UK government website thing, it is. isn't it? Yeah. So this is quite nice because it's all linked in. And I would say that one of the reasons I chose this, because I was looking around, as I say, for just originally the, the discs yep. that you could buy and put on your computer or a book. Um, whereas when I looked at this one, it actually says, these are the people who actually make the questions yep. and the videos for the test that you'll be going to do. Yep. Um, so even though you might not see exactly the same questions and, uh, and videos, at least you know they've been done to the same standard. Yep. So you're, te being t you're testing yourself to the same standard. So interestingly enough, I went, obviously I've gone through all this. Um, you also had an app on your phone, um, which to be honest, the questions were more similar to the ones on the DVSA website. Um, and also, if I just show you now, you can do a mock test, um, obviously when you're ready. Um, you can take a mock test however many times you want. Um, they do throw in the odd different question, which is great, um, so they're not going to show the same ones. Also, when you click actually onto this, you're timed. You do get 50 minutes, I believe, in the actual exam itself. There is an option on the top right, which it, it yeah. really helped me. Um, more, um, more of a visual visualization. I like visualizing what I'm going to see actually in the exam. Okay. So if you go to options, you click on options, and you can do the test view. So if you can see in the background, it's changed. Right. So this is exactly how you're going to see it in the exam. Right. Okay. Which I really liked as a personal touch. Yeah, so it's that way you're writing. you're familiar with the screen. Yeah. There's nothing surprising. Yeah, you click on it, then go to the next one. Oh, see, you they can don't even it. tick. They just highlight no, them as they well. they highlight, and then you go to the next one. Something I actually did in the exam room um, that I hadn't actually done in my practice was flag for review. So at the end, if there are any questions that you're sitting there thinking, oh, I really can't even, I can't remember this one, and you sit there and sit there and you think, I need to come back to this, flag it for review. At the end, it will then highlight all the ones that are flagged for review, and you can go back to them. And you can go back through them. Yep. Okay. Yep. So a bit like the old when you were at school and you had the paper test, you could sort of like they always teacher always said, always leave, you know, leave the questions you're not yeah. sure about, do the ones you do know, and then go back and work your way through the ones yep. you do know that, that you have trouble with, because yep. then you know judging how much time you've got left then yep. as well. It's much. Better. And another really great thing is you can actually go back through all your answers. Um, so I found that quite useful personally. personally. Um, some people just go, that's my answer, hit next, I'm done. Um, but it's just other options and it suits loads of different people with their learning style as well. So yeah, great. Brilliant, okay. Um, right, let's go back and carry on the chat then. Brilliant, thank you. So that was really good, Halo. That was right, quite interesting to sort of go through all of that. So now you've done your practice and your mocks and mm -hmm. your, it's telling you you're now ready to do your exam. Yeah. What happened next? So test day, um, obviously you turned up with your um, driving license. Um, as we are in lockdown or supposedly coming out of lockdown, it's wear a mask as you turn up. Yeah. Um, they obviously take a copy of your uh, driving license um, make sure that you are who you are when you walk in um, 
and the actual room itself is quite surreal it's very old school <laughs> um, how do you mean by old school old school desks and well like, like really old desks really old school computers yeah yeah so obviously right. before you go into the room there's other people in there um the uh, lady asked me obviously if i had anything on me um no phones nothing like that check my pockets check the inside of my mask yeah well. no, didn't really. i know like, oh, okay yeah no hidden little bits of paper no, with answers no. on so um yeah so you go uh, she gives you your number you go to your little um booth a bit like a voting booth <laughs> I seem down. to remember mine was a bit like it had like walls up the side. Yeah, that's it. It's like it's in a little, little, little box. Walls, you're in a box. You've got your headphones to your right. Um, obviously, when you go in, check your name, check you're doing a bike theory test or a car theory test. So, um, if you have any problems, obviously put your hand up. Just work through it. Take your time. You've uh, you actually had 50 minutes for the theory. Um, so yeah, take your time. Obviously, with hazard perception, um, do the video at the beginning. It, it gives you some examples as well. Just if to have the time just to, to remember what it. to do yeah yeah and also so which did you, did you do the help. questions first yes yeah so these okay. are the questions you can do a few just practice questions it will go towards your marks um which i did i thought i'd spend the time to do it which helped yeah. me and actually made me a bit calmer <laughs> i was a bit nervous going in even though yeah. I've, I've done a car theory test before um but that was quite a while ago and it was before the 50 questions come in so and what were the videos like? Were they like the ones on the computer? Yeah, they were really... So the ones on the DBSA website were really good. Um, there is a questionnaire at the end that asked you actually where you did any practice or did you um, did any mock tests or anything. Um, but I found them really useful. They were exactly... They weren't exactly the same, obviously. There were some that were similar. Yeah. Um, it's also, some of them are CGI, some of them are real life sort of clips. Um, but yeah, just take your time with them. Is it anything that I can... Recommend. Yeah. So you've done your test. I have. You've got up from your chair. I have. All right, and you're going to see this lady again on the way out. Yeah, yeah. So I see the lady, and she says, obviously, go to your locker, get your phone out, and my phone out, um, and then you go to the front reception desk, the lady who you saw at the beginning. Um, she then obviously asks you your name, hold up your driving license, and then she hands you a bit of paper, fold it up doesn't say anything it says have a nice day <laughs> so, <I'm laughs> so like, no okay. congratulations no, or i'm no, really no, sorry no. to say nothing, nothing like that no. just here's your piece of paper and off you yep. go so literally i took the bit of paper and walked outside and saw you yep, yep. and i passed you passed well done Yay. <laughs> i think if i didn't pass i'd be more concerned about me driving <laughs> well I, yeah <laughs> I, I guess really that really is the thing is that if i can't pass and that is one of the weird things is that you can pass your driving license have your driving license yeah. and still have to go and do your theory test but again interestingly enough we've both found because obviously you've been helping me out asking yep. questions you've got an app on your phone what's really interesting is we drive every single day and there were things that we were still learning yeah there was so much that yeah. even has changed since i've done mine because obviously you did your test quite a few years ago yeah thanks uh, sorry that's the nicest <laughs> way i can put it um but there's so much it it is really worth even if you're not doing a bike test or anything it's so good to do that i don't know why more people are not doing just a theory test yeah there should, I th like there should be like refreshes and yeah. things because there are things that you don't know oh, so new much. laws and rules that are brought in yeah. that we don't really pick up on no um, they might put them on the news or things like that, but we don't really absorb them in the same but way. It's amazing because I feel like I've changed as a driver yeah, as well. Yeah, that's really good. Just, just doing a basic theory test for a bike. Yeah. Um, and I think has a perception as there's so many more cars on the road. And obviously more people are, are deciding to have bikes. They're not commuting like they used to. Yeah. It's, it's that sort of thing. So... Yeah. yeah, and we got new hazards with people walking in the roads with looking at their mobile phones. Yeah, never had that when I was a kid. Yeah, no, no. headphones. <laughs> right. never been. Okay, so now you've done that. Yep. Next stage is your DSA. It is, and we'll do a separate video on that, and that will come out. Oh, it's going to be a while yet, isn't it? it so is. this is coming out in July time. Yep. We've got a long our way, haven't we? We have. Interestingly enough, another thing is uh, to do is what I've recently done is um, go on Facebook. Facebook and social media. Yep. I am not a massive social media person. I don't like people knowing much. Um, but obviously with this, I want, to, I want people to obviously have... There's some really good groups, aren't there? Yeah, there is. 
and t share your story as well yeah because there could be someone out there that just doesn't really know or you might have an idea that i haven't even thought of and likewise i've, yeah. I've joined up to uh, um women riders yeah. uh, motorbike um we should do a video on that yeah yeah the really video so, just on women riders and like a meetup or something yeah yeah they do loads of meetups and stuff um they've got loads of different things topics talking about bikes talking about tires anything and everything and it's really opened my eyes and made me more confident about doing my test um there's so many people who are saying oh, i've got my cbt i've got my theory test i've got there's so many people levels on there which is really good yeah. so yeah definitely check it out and we'll i think that's in. the thing is don't do this in isolation no use the internet use youtube there's a lot of bad stuff out there you know there's a lot of people with stupid stuff that they say in that but look like the recommended websites the the good videos the people who know what they're talking about check them out and I just learn yep. um, from what they say Reviews and what they do are great feedback's yeah. great and everyone's yeah. got their own style. it's really good anyway leave those comments down below we might be mentioning you or speaking about them before I get where they, where they go down there somewhere <laughs> and the, the like button the subscribe buttons over there yeah, somewhere yeah. Oh, okay. somewhere and there might be some links up in the top call cool, cool. i'm not poking you in the head by thank the way you. anyway thanks very much for watching i'll speak to you next time bye, bye.